gonna make some designs for a pot that we're going to make. We're just going to make it a cylinder shaped pot and then add features to make it look like an animal's head. And I want you to make some sketches beforehand. So for instance here, I made uh, a frog design, different kinds, and you can see how my ideas change. Um, some of the things stayed the same, some of them moved, and this is the one I'm gonna end up using. Um, you know, I drew this one and the eyes were kind of small, kind of creepy, so I thought, why don't I make them a little bit bigger? Uh, still kept them pretty close together. This one I widened them out and I tried to do something different with the pupil, I didn't like that. Ended up going back to these eyes here. I did like those nostrils that I made. I decided to add in more spots. Um, so, you know, there's a thousand different iterations you can do. You need to do at least four. Uh, and you can do four different animals, but I'm going to just show you how to, how to refine an idea um, uh, with just one animal here. Um, I'm going to start with my name. So if this falls out of my sketchbook, then um, I can... Uh, know who it belongs to. So uh, this is the cylinder and it's got some guidelines on there uh, to kind of help you line things up. Uh, you can have things come up, you can have things come in on this frog design. You know, I was imagining that these would be, this would be taken off. So uh, for instance, let's say we do a cat. Um, you could do something that has, you know, kind of like small ears and um, you know, I think I'm gonna maybe have it looking this way. Um, I wanna have it have like really big, cute eyes. I'm just gonna start with circles. Um, it's a good place to start. I don't always end with circles. Um, I'm just gonna kinda go with a basic cat face. I'm gonna keep this really small. And I'm gonna have him looking up at you while you uh, put your pencils inside. So just kind of a simple design. All right, now, if you decide later on that this is the one you like, that's fine. But you have to have done all the other designs to realize that the first one was the best. So I decided maybe I wanna make those ears a little pointier. And I'm gonna go ahead and try and center that face more. So I'm gonna make still make them kind of small because I don't want them to get knocked off. Um, and I think I'm going to try, you know, more like this for the eyes. Still keep it the pupils round and kind of cute. But that kind of maybe gives it more of a sinister look that I'm not so happy with. Um, I'm just going to do the nose. I'm not going to do the whiskers or anything down here. So, you know, that's not too bad. Um, I think I want to have keep those ears the same. You could try them with big ears. The bigger you make them, maybe it's going to look more like a wolf, though. I think maybe I will try to have them uh, go this direction. And uh, I think that makes it look a little less like a mean kitty if I have them turned down that way. Um, put this here. Still want that nose fairly small. I think maybe I want to move it up, though so that it's like just in the center here. Yeah, I like that there. Um, so I'm gonna, I like those whiskers ideas. So I'm gonna have one like flat and when it comes down like this, okay? Um, you know, I really like the way this is going. I'd like to see like a little tongue though. I think that would be cute, have a little tongue coming out. So I'm gonna, Go with those oval shaped ones again. And I have it, you know, fairly wide apart. And then I'm going to put the nose here. And I, I really liked that little X that I did at the beginning. I like that. And I'm going to just do a little tongue like that. Um, and. That, I think, is the one that I would want to go with. Um, I, 
I kind of can't decide whether or not I like this one or this one better, so I can go to another artist and ask for um, you know their feedback on this. 